All right. Hello, Fremont friends and family. So today I'm going to be showing you a little video on how to get into Google Classroom and what happens. So here we go. We're going to click up here on our Google Apps and I'm going to go to Google Classroom. When I click on the Google Classroom, I'll be brought to this window. This is one class I'm already in. I've been invited by my teacher to join. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and click this plus button right here. When I click on this plus button, I'm now going to type in the code that my teacher gave me. And my teacher gave me this code right here. Q7ZXLYK. And then I'm going to click join. Now when you join, a bunch of things are going to happen. The classroom is going to open up and Google Classroom is going to run through a tutorial. You should see some windows popping up right here. If you do right now, I don't know why it's not doing it for me, but right now I might be saying, hey, welcome to Google Classroom. Probably because I've already been in there. So right now I have the stream, I have classwork, and we have people. This little circle up here is saying, hey, I'm a test student, I'm in this account right now. My teacher's name is called Made Up Teacher. Down here is called the stream. Sometimes kids will only search the stream for the assignments the teachers handed out. And a lot of things, when kids click in here, kids can fill the stream up with a bunch of comments and we can lose our work. So up top, it's nice to go to classwork. When you go to classwork, oh, here's those little pop-up windows I was talking about. It says track your progress, see a list of your work and its current status. Got it. So Google will every now and then start giving me a little tutorial on how I can understand better this program. So it looks like I've got a couple of things in here. I have a practice assignment and I have a question from my teacher. So what happens if I do this? If I click on a question from my teacher, it says, please answer a question and submit your answer. Right down here, it says, view my question. All right, let's see what the teacher is asking. What key on the keyboard do you use to create a capital letter? So it says, please answer the question and submit your answer. Class comments. Down here, if I did this down here, and sometimes kids will do this, this will just be a comment. And I'll do this. I'll do, hi, class, this is a comment. And if I hit go on this right now, and when I go back to my teacher's classroom, clicking on their name, made up teachers, my class, I'm back in here. And I can see that there's been one comment on this question. And when I click on this, the test student, which is who I am, said, hi class, this is the comment. So let's go back and do this properly now. So if I go back to classwork and I click on this, it minimizes the screen. When I click back on that question mark, I can see the question. And it says, view my question. I'll click on this here. Right over here, it says, type my answer. So if I click over here and I'm gonna say, well, I know the shift key, I'll type in the shift key. And once I do this, I need to turn it in, click on turn in. Right over here are private comments. If I want the teacher to see something private, I can say, hey, Mr. Ellis, I need some help. When the teacher hits the triangle, that message is sent just to the teacher. Looks like it wasn't very now. The assignment is sent just to the teacher. All right. Now, after I've done that, I can turn in my assignment right here. It says, submit my answer. You won't be able to make changes to your answer after you submit it. Now, sometimes it depends on what the teacher's done. The teacher will let you make changes, but it looks like in this one right here, I'm only given one shot to turn it in. So there we go. I turn it in just like that. And I can see, I can see my classmates' answers. I can reply if I click on this, see my classmates' answers. I'm going to actually say cancel because there's no other classes in here. But it says right now I've turned it in. All right, kids, once, once again, this is the stream up here with all your work. This will be notifications on any due dates from your teacher of what's coming up and due. Click on my classwork for easy access to some of the information my teacher has sent up to me. And if I go to people right here, I can see all the students that are listed into my class right now. Teacher is Mr. Ellis. And I don't see my name because you never see your name. You only see the other students that are in there. I am a test student.
Well, I hope this helped, guys. Good luck with Google Classroom.